Hey, what's going on everybody? IS Studio is here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to configure your render settings in Cinema 4D to get an optimal look, to get good renders, realistic, and they won't take too long to render either. So first, what we're going to do is we're just going to set our width to 1920 and our height to 1080p. All right, so for 1080p, there we go. Now, actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to render it just so that we get a, uh, a good an example of what what we have without any um uh without any good without any change settings so without any settings i will just go ahead and render this and while the scene by itself does look half decent without any render settings changed <laughs> there's much we can do to improve this scene so let's get started head up to your render settings and we are going to set the renderer to physical under the physical sections, go to advanced and set the ray tracing engine to physical and go to D, uh, go to basic and sampler adaptive sampling quality. Set that to high because you want high samples. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up. Uh, so first, just enable ambient occlusion and we're going to set up global illumination. So what you want to do is you want to do primary method, irradiance cache, secondary method, uh, light mapping. Set the maximum depth to 32. You can raise that if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it at 32 because that's good. Uh, set the samples to custom sample count, and we're going to bring that up to 512. Uh, you may even want to bring it up to 1024 if you want to for extreme samples. 512 should be fine, but 1024 will also be if you want good, good, cool, really best quality. Uh, irradiance cache, light mapping. So over here, irradiance cache. Uh, set the smoothing to 60%. The color refinement to 90%. You can bring all this up as well if you want to. I'm just setting some decent values here. And uh, I think we are done. So although that may seem very simple, that's literally it. Also, we're going to go to effect enable caustics. I think I've totally pronounced that wrong. But uh, there we go. We're going to enable that. Now we will go ahead and render. All right, guys. And it is done. So... I will show you the final result now. Here is without any setting tweaking. And then here's with it. Ah, yes. The improvement is amazing. Um, since the chair here is a bit uh, it's a bit too white, but that's just because of my materials. But, um, yes, yeah, so you can see this before, after. It's just... The improvement is insane. It's just completely... Completely insane improvement. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.